it's amazing to be able to go last. Um, <laughs> gives me a little bit more time to think about just what I'm going to say. So, um, but uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Imran Chaudhry, co-founder of uh, and president of a company called Humane. And I'm grateful to the other Imran um, for, and, and the team at uh, BOF to really allow me to come up and, and speak to you today. Today, I want to talk to you about the future, uh, the future beyond the smartphone, one where you're no longer going to be asked to contort for technology, but instead, one where the interfaces just disappear. Humanity is at a turning point in our relationship with technology. And technology seems to demand so much from us. We are bombarded with constant distractions, information overload, and digital fatigue is real. Things no longer feel faster, easier, or more powerful like they used to. I would argue technology also no longer feels magical. And most importantly, for years, things have felt out of balance. Our time and our attention are no longer seen as the precious and finite resources that they truly are. But what if things were different? What if technology got out of the way, became invisible, and, around, and uh, really arranged itself around our lives? What if we designed technology to be in service to us, not the other way around? Would it allow us to focus more on our humanity? I want to show you a future where AI and ambient computing can make this all possible. My belief has always been that computers can drive culture. And for me, designing and creating starts by obsessing over the human experience. My passion brought me to Apple in 1995 to learn from the best. And I was lucky enough to work closely with Steve Jobs after his return to Apple, watching him rebuild the company from the ground up. He taught me how to differentiate between good and great, that the most interesting things can also be the most radical things, and that the tools we create could change people's lives so long as they're approached with the right level of care and thoughtfulness. I spent nearly 22 years helping create the devices and services that now define the way billions of people express, connect, understand, and survive. Technologies like these have truly enabled us to be the um, modern connected humans that we are. And that's because we're all empowered through an incredible interconnectedness that um, gives us all immense access to knowledge, all driven by these transformational devices that we can really tap into at any time and anywhere. This is an era that we at Humane call the digital information age. This age developed a new type of global digital literacy that really allowed for billions of users to really tap into a foundation of now innate behaviors. These behaviors are things that we can now build upon, and that's what we are really excited about. But there's a, a different side. In some ways, where there's light, there's always dark. In this case, it's the darkness of data misuse, disinformation, and distrust. And we've seen that if fueled by the wrong intentions and put into the wrong hands, the greatest gift to humanity could also be its detriment. Our existing devices and platforms feel like they demand so much of us, and getting things done can feel like a bit of a burden. Innovation has plateaued. Sales have plateaued. And excitement has plateaued. So the big question is, what comes next? And the bigger question is, how do we do this right? At Humane, our work is focused on understanding both. We are 
at a precipice of what I believe will be the biggest shift in technology for humanity, one driven by artificial intelligence or AI. At Humane, we call this next era of compute the intelligence age. The promise of these new technologies like AI, computer vision, and the machine learning that drive all of it are really gaining a tailwind. Things that were not possible even a year ago are now real, and the vision of a new type of future is coming into focus. AI will soon effortlessly weave itself into our everyday lives to work alongside us instead of us having to work so hard to get what we want out of compute. The veteran US tech journalist Walt Mossberg used his final column to predict that soon technology would become invisible and that developing ambient computing would mean that technology and its functions would increasingly fade into the background. And we agree. Building for tomorrow means building devices that enhance the human experience and technologies that adapt to you instead of the other way around. Adaptation needs understanding, and understanding is formed on trust. Truly beneficial AI will be an extension of you, how you perceive things, how you pass things, and how you want to be understood. For this reason, it will become even more important that the future, in terms of devices and platforms, have the right aspects of trust and privacy built in from day zero. And at Humane, we believe that tomorrow's technologies should really be trust-based and that your data should be owned by you and only you. Your decisions, your rights, your life. This will be the most personal era of computing yet. AI and ambient computing will redefine the relationships between us and technology. But to unlock its full potential, trust has to be at the center. And for all of this to work, compute needs context. We don't believe that the future of tech will be powered by devices built for your face. Smart glasses, if you can call them smart, um, mean moving away these screens that were once inches away from our face to being just millimeters away from our eyeballs. They're invasive, adding a barrier between an individual and their environment. And the face is the most personal place. And we care about how we look and how we're seen. And I don't think many people want to walk around looking like this. So moving compute to our face not only makes us look funny, but it also doesn't enhance our humanity. It rather has a negative impact on our human connection. And that's because eye contact is an important part of human connection. It helps us understand each other and feel closer to others. How we look into someone's eyes not only establishes trust, but it also reveals how much trust might already be there. And Humane, we believe the future of compute is not only not on your face, but that it will be driven by less screens, not more. Instead, ambient compute will weave its way into how we present ourselves to the world. And it should always be powered by functional devices inspired by fashion and by design. And this is why we're building a brand new device and a platform to fully harness everything that AI can do, putting users at the center and the human experience at the center, focused on making this next era of compute completely simple, joyful, and human first, and empowering you to be you. We stand here at a green field of innovation where AI will be bringing groundbreaking developments at an increasingly rapid rate. Over time, we'll realize that uh, 
this enormous potential is just going to be something that we never even dreamed of. As OpenAI's Sam Altman has said, AI is a rare example of an extremely hype thing that almost everyone still underestimates the impact of, even in the medium term. The possibilities of this future and vision are endless. Let me explain. It starts with sensing. Picture contextual compute at the speed of thought. The technology of the future will be imbued with intelligence that understands you and your backdrops and your life instantaneously, designed to enable versus disrupt through devices that support a more authentic human experience. This will be possible through new kinds of sensing that form deeper understandings of you, your surroundings, and your intentions. These advanced techniques will allow us to focus on what's really important, that being presence. Not being asked to pause our lives for tech, but empowering us to be more present in the world. Technology that adapts to you, your needs, and your ambitions. Here's an example. Imagine going on a run, and the music you're listening to is dynamically scored based on where you're running what time you're running, and how fast you're running. Or imagine it's the morning of your big presentation, and you're advised that a meditation would help your anxiousness and rapid breathing. One by the window, listening to the rain, would be best. Soon, technology will intelligently handle all of this for you, instantly, allowing you to remain in the moment. It's also seamless envisage greater choice and enhanced experiences. AI has the potential to reshape business consumer interactions as we know them. And building from the ground up means that we can rebuild the dialogue and trust between consumers and businesses too. Completely protected data, properly used. The smartphone was amazing in how it changed the consumer landscape and something like Uber couldn't have existed without it, allowing both drivers and riders to really look around corners through technology. But we see AI-powered devices like the things that we're working on at Humane to really be the future that allows us to take even bigger leaps. Sorry. Imagine being able to literally shop the world. You're walking down the street, and you see something that piques your curiosity. A person wearing a particular brand of sneakers or a new beautiful dress. Now imagine being able to get instant answers to your questions. Who designed it? How do I buy it? Is it available in my size? All of your thoughts answered in milliseconds. And it's screenless. A world without a display where your surroundings become your operating system means less demanding and distracting screens. No more complicated, time-consuming interactions. A screenless future allows us to focus on what really matters, being human. And ambient computing will re-establish that authentic human connection and restore those interactions with all of us in the world around us. It'll give us even more time, even more joy, even more of everything. Imagine being able to walk down a road and completely understand what's inside every shop before you walk in, all without interfaces getting in the way, so you can fully explore things, all of your surroundings. Or imagine being at your friend's wedding and not having to waste any precious time capturing that perfect photo, staring at your screen and not into your friend's eyes. Instead, AI will free you to experience these moments as they happen and capture the memories on your behalf. It'll allow you to live in the moment now and not just relive that moment later. We believe that the best user interface 
is no user interface and that AI should work with us, not just take direction from us. And ambient computing will finally enable us to stop looking down at our phones and start looking up at the world. This to us is the future, and it's closer than you might think. There's no doubt that we are now at a major turning point with technology, and the, the future to us is very clear. Technology that is seamless, sensing, and screenless, which feels familiar, natural, and human. One where AI works alongside you with trust and privacy front and center, built in from day zero. At Humane, for the past four years, we've been building a new kind of device and platform to bring groundbreaking developments in AI to the consumer space in a completely novel way. This is a new frontier, and we set our paths down this direction, knowing that our ideas and ambitions will take a long time and um, some effort to really get to where we think AI can make everything better. We're excited to share here that our first offerings will be announced this spring. And we believe that the correct adoption of AI in ambient computing will create a future that's exciting, joyful, and enhance all of our lives. And we're fully committed to doing the work to seeing this vision come to life and to bring it into reality. Rethinking, reconsidering, and remembering honest human con connection in the context of computing. It's time to begin the journey for AI to change everything. And we at Humane hope that all of you will join us. Thank you.